What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sephora And today, I want to give you guys my final thoughts about the Mayan Kula update and also remind you guys to go ahead and click on your alarm here and get everything that you see in here, you know, whether it's your dice, whether it's your puzzle pieces, and so on. So you can get everything that is available in the game, right? Do make sure that you come into the dice game. I mean, this is going to be gone after today. So get everything that you can out of here. Go ahead and use all of your dice. Make sure that you collect your dice from your rush dungeon and so on. Also, if you do happen to have uh, enough shards to get one of these stones, do make sure that you do collect one of these stones guys before this is gone those are really op for uh kula and mice and maybe in the future that those stones might be applicable for and then also you know do collect everything in your codex as well and do come into the my and love parade and get everything everything that you can out here make sure that you do collect your rubies for the day collect your dice for the day and uh, get everything in here now you want to make sure that you do acquire enough of these tokens to get whatever you're trying to get in here These cards are actually really good for my and Kula Especially if you don't have the new hot and cold set from the banner And we're going to talk about that little set in here in a little bit But this is a good set if you don't plan on getting the hot and cold set if you don't have it It's a nice little set for my and Kula especially if you already have them So do make sure that you collect enough tokens to collect them because the exchange shop here is actually going to still be open for another seven days after today so Whatever tokens you collect on the final day, which is today, then you can actually come in here and use those things to collect, you know, your gold hammers, your experience balls, your attack capsules, or just try to get enough tokens where you can actually get these cards. So do make sure that you do that. You don't want to screw yourself any of those rewards. Also, guys, do make sure that you come into the cool head, warm heart, if you have Kula and Mai, and try to get to the top. If you do have one of these characters, I don't think it's going to be a problem to get to the top and get all the resources out here. This is where you can actually to get a BS and SS memory mystery box, right? And you have a chance to get one of these characters. And the recent event that we got, the SS and BS characters did prove to be very, very relevant in there, right? Especially some of the characters that are on that selector. So if you can, try to go up to the top and get this. Again, guys, level 90 Mai, level 90 Kula can absolutely do this. They can actually run through it. Now, let's talk about uh, Mai and Kula. So Mai and Kula, guys, are pretty godly characters. They're pretty ridiculous. You know, I've talked about them quite often. Uh, both of them are insane and pretty much all game modes right whether it's the tower of trials whether it's guild raid although mizey does have an edge on kula in guild raid especially if they're both at a5 she is stronger in guild raid but in colossal boss dungeon the way it looks is kula is actually stronger but the truth is they're both so damn strong if you were using them in either of the game modes that i just mentioned they would both be insane and both be absolutely ridiculous so i mean they are quality characters guys but there is a good chance that you know we could have a collaboration after this banner because it is that time of the year, or we could have another KOF banner after this one, and then for sure the Cloud Banner would be after that. I'm not really sure yet, don't really know, but that is also something to keep in mind. And then you have the uh, Hot and Cold set with the option cards and the 3PGs, and I mentioned before that you don't really need 3PGs, guys, because Mai and Kula already have SS3PGs available in the game. You really don't need to pull for them unless you're all the way to the pity. Now, as far as the Hot and Cold set, guys, it really is, it proved to be a very, very good set, especially for defense and fighters and for Kula and Mizey, obviously, but for defensive fighters and the new Alexandrite event, man, I showed you guys that this set really did well on a defensive character. It's actually quite nuts. Matter of fact, I'll bring up a little run for you guys where I actually did a little comparison where I used just a regular comeback set uh, on Bison and then I used the hot and cold set on him as well. Just to kind of show you guys like the difference in damage. I do have a Zhang Fei card on Bison to apply chill because that's kind of the thing about the set is that, you know, if, in order to get all the buffs from it, you really want to have, you know, chill applied so you can get an increased attack up to 120%. That is really, really insane. You know, the critical rate buffs on the car set does work work on defensive characters do keep that in mind but the critical damage buff doesn't work on them right it's just a critical rate buffs right but they can get uh you know some other little goodies where they can increase their pg gain all the way up to five bars of pg automatically so that can come in really useful as well for a defensive character but you know obviously for my and kula as well but i'm not going to play the whole run guys i'm just kind of showing you, you know on the left is the comeback set on the right is the hot and cold set and you can see guys that you know the damage is pretty similar right it's pretty similar and the comeback set is actually really really good on bison you know whenever you increase now uh, you have five bars of pg gain you just get these huge attack buffs from the comeback set it's actually really op uh, on a lot of characters especially bs and ss characters 
It increases our attack speed, so you can run through the skills even faster, which allows you to do even more damage, right? But even though I'm using that OP comeback set on Bison, right, with a Zhongbei card and a cooldown card, and on the right, I'm just using the Hanko set with a Zhongbei card and a cooldown card, you can see, guys, that, you know, the Hanko set does pull ahead a little bit. It is doing a little bit more damage than the comeback set. It's doing, you know, it's, it's, it's giving a little bit more uh, power, right? I mean, it's, uh, it's looking pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way to the one minute mark here. There you go. Uh, let me go ahead. Oh, I kind of went a little too far ahead there. There you go, right? So one minute, guys, you know, we did 1.7 billion on the left with the comeback set, and we did almost 2 billion on the right in one minute. So the Hankel set did prove to be a little bit better, but as far as guild raid, that's really, that's not really enough of a damage bump to really make a difference. But in that Alexandrite event, or if we get events like that in the future, it is pretty damn massive because our SS characters, which Bison is, get massive buffs. And when you have these damage multipliers, whenever you see this little bit of damage that is on the right side, that makes more of a difference than something like the Alexandrite event because those characters are actually getting buffed. You'll see more of a difference in those game modes. And if you guys are really curious, I'll go all the way to the end with the uh, hot and cold set. And I was able to get about 4 billion with Bison doing a complete solo, which is pretty nice. Right? It's pretty nice, right? So the set does prove to be pretty relevant, but really for, you know, but more specifically for like, say something like the Alexandrite event. And definitely for my Kula guys, it is the best set. So if you're trying to make those girls as strong as possible, it would be a really good set to have this option card, I never really even touched on it, guys, but it really is an insane option card. The thing about it, though, is that Mizey and Kula have these uh, EX cores where they can actually max out their critical rate along with certain card sets that you put on them. So I didn't really see this really being huge for them, but for other EX characters, this is probably going to be pretty damn OP, especially if they don't have those EX cores like Leona and, again, Mizey and Kula. Then it would probably be more of a difference. Still a really insane card, guys. An increase in defense by 10% is, is pretty nice, right? It's pretty nice because it actually synergizes with that hot and cold set. I really should have tested that, but I never did. So what do I think about this update? Well, I thought it was a pretty good update for the most part, guys, except for one thing. The team relay page here, guys, you did see that I have been able to go all the way to the end. And guys, you know, you need 16,000 points uh, or eight, I'm sorry, 18,000 points to get to the end, right? And, you know, I made that 18,000 points, but I barely did it. I barely did it on this account that has been up and running ever since the global release of Colfus, right? And this is an account that does get money stuck into it, as many of you already know, right? I mean, that Leona was about 700 American damn dollars. Now, granted, my luck was abysmal in that pity. It was six pities to get her, right? But she is my favorite waifu, so... I went all out for her, but it just goes to show you guys that I really feel like this event was a little bit difficult. Now, if you had that Mizey option card, right, if you were able to get that Mizey option card from here, this card right down here, if you had this card, then you were loving life and you were probably doing insanity as far as that game mode is concerned. But a lot of people didn't have this card. We really didn't know if it was going to be that good or not. Now we do know, so if we get a return of it, it'd be pretty sweet. But I do feel like the Alexandra event, and by the way, I just want to point out something really quick. This shows, guys, that is, this is going to be the last day of this, right? And whereas in the team re reward page, it shows seven days. Do not believe this, guys, because in the forums, they only showed a roadmap for three weeks for that Alexandra event, right? Only three weeks. And that three weeks is up today. So I wouldn't believe this. Uh, that, I mean, it might stay up. But you really need to make sure that you do use your tickets and come to the Alexandrian event and use them because this is going to be gone in 23 hours. This is the last day of it. But I do feel like they really... The points were really just too much, guys. Like, they should have either decreased the points in the team reward page, or they should have made this a little bit easier of an event. Now, I know in the past that I've said, I want more difficult content, I want meaningful content, and this is rewarding and meaningful content, but I just feel like, you know, on an account, like, like even on my free-to-play account, that's over a year old, that has very developed characters, that I do have A7 EX characters on that account. I have multiple EX characters, and the best I was able to do was about 87 billion on my free to play account in one run. You need 243 billion a day over a three week period every single day to get all of the rewards at the team reward page, right? 
That is a lot of points, and I really feel like Netmarble kind of missed the mark a little bit because I do feel it was a little bit difficult. There are those of us players that this is going to be, you know, pretty easy for us because we're going to have certain characters, we're going to have level up codexes and so on. But again, if my free-to-play account was having trouble and didn't get all the rewards in this, that just goes to show me that I know a lot of you guys were having a tremendous amount of difficulty getting all of the rewards out of this thing, right? You might have been able to get the EX generic memory because you needed 28.5 billion a day. Day. And that is pretty feasible in all honesty for a lot of players, guys. I've done full SS and BS runs and was able to get 28.5 billion on my free to play account. So on that side of it, I do think it was pretty damn good. But to get all the rewards in it, it wasn't so great. But at the same time, they did reward players for, you know, being veterans and for having very strong accounts. You know, they did reward them. You were able to get a thousand rubies. You were able, and this is really where it's at, to get all of these shards. So you could actually change the EX generic memory to the color that you actually want, right? And that's a big thing that the, the game really did for us is that they rewarded a lot of veteran players. But again, guys, you know, on my free-to-play account that is a veteran account, I wasn't able to get these shards, but I still feel like it was a little bit too difficult for a lot of players out there. I mean, they just should have, you know, either drop the points or maybe put these rewards in a, you know, like up in here, or maybe we didn't have to use as many shards to change the extra generic memory to the color that we want. But I really feel like this event was really a nice step in the right direction because, you know, it allowed us to use different colored characters. It allowed us to use our BS and SS characters in here, which was pretty damn nice, guys. We don't get to use those characters at all especially ever since the introduction of ex characters so that's actually really awesome man i'm really happy to see that they made the bs and ss characters more relevant to get a primary reward out of this thing guys i mean you saw the damage if you had that mizey card and you had bison holy crap but bison was a year ago right so that that is something else also to keep in mind so all in all i do feel like the event was pretty good for the most part but it wasn't great right it just wasn't awesome but i did think it was really good event i know there might be some players out there that's going to disagree with me because they probably didn't get all the rewards out of the team relay reward page and i can sympathize with you guys because again on my free-to-play account I, I couldn't get all these shards. I couldn't finish this thing out. There's no damn way in hell that I was able to do that. But if you guys are going to be pulling for Mai and Kula today, or you're going to be pulling for the Hanko set, I do wish you all good luck on your last day for your pulls. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what's going to be next in Kofas. So guys, let me know what you think about this event. I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. to do plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.